Welcome to Plan Watch Walk, the home of great walking and open and honest equipment reviews. We are starting off a series of um, equipment reviews with Highlander and today we are going to be looking at the Highlander Stow and Go Packageable Waterproof and you can see the, the, the outer case here. So before we get going with the review let's go and have a look at some of the terrain we've been out on. We've been out on a number of walks through different up in the hills, along coasts, we've been out on warm days, we've worn it individually, without a pack, with a pack. Um, so a lot of different conditions and uh, overall it's worked really, really well. So let's have a look at the jacket itself and then we'll get into the, the field trial performance as we come back. So here's the, as I say, the, the packaging for it. So we've got a the stuff pack for it, which works well. We've got the draw cord on here. This sits on here, so that's really good if you're putting it on a belt. But also if you've got a pack on, you can clip it onto your pack so you can get it very, very quickly. That works well. Very, very light. It's only 310 grams. So that works particularly well. So let's pull it out and uh, have a look at it. Very easy to get out. I'll just put that on the ground there. Pick it out. Away we go. So, zip straight on. So the fit for me is particularly good. So this is an extra large. I'm um, 6'1", to give you an idea of, of fit on here. So let's have a look at some of the features before we get out and about with the and with the actual trial itself. We have a look at the packaging on here. It says that the waterproof and the breathability, if I got that correct, yeah, the waterproof and the breathability is 6,000 millimeter rating. Um, that's a good level of rating. It's not the highest level of rating by any means, but the jacket's not supposed to be that. So if we have a look on the inside, the hood itself, we've got a lining. So when that is up, there's some breathability going on. From a breathability perspective, we've got the, the mesh inside here, and on the back of here, we've got air holes, so that's breathability that sits around here. The zips themselves, so we have a look at the little test on the zip we're going to do now. So we're going to do quite an extreme test on the zip. We open it up and put some kitchen towel inside and then we're going to pour water over the zip. This would be quite extreme because you're not really going to get water coming in and lying across it like this. So it is pretty extreme. Take that off. Let's open it up and have a look. And we've had, we've got some slight leakage coming through, but the jacket itself it doesn't say that the zips are 100% waterproof. What it does say is that it is at a level of entry. So overall, it worked pretty well. Water sits on top of the jacket, so that's good. Have a look at the adjustments on the jacket now. If we put the jacket on, zip it up around here. We have got two sides adjustment which I really like if you're used to my um, videos you'll know that I quite like two sides so you don't get a long piece of um, draw cord hanging down getting caught on things. We have two zip pockets sitting around here which is very good. The zip itself very very um, free movement on the zip. Get the hood up and on the hood we have got adjustment on the hood here so you can pull that really in tightly to the hood and if you pull the zip up it's a really good snug fit fits around inside here and again there's more adjustments here so you can pull this tight so that all works very well when we were out in the field with it uh, we had it in warm conditions so I put it on in a warm condition to see how well the breathability worked. 
with a backpack on as well and I was actually very very pleasantly surprised it worked better than I thought was going to work as I say it's more of an entry level breathability to it but with a backpack on on a relatively humid day very little dampness sitting inside the skin so there is breathability rain wise um, I've been out in reasonably heavy showers not driving rain but reasonably heavy showers perfectly all right so that works very very well um, the colour of it, if we look at, there's a series of colours available inside here, I'll show those on the screen, etc. now. So yeah, the other thing I found particularly impressive was, that, yeah, you take it out in the field and all the rest of, the, of it, which worked very, very well. But the use of it in the urban environment as well, you can put it in your bag, if you've got a backpack on for the day, you're going to town and, and environment clip it onto your belt and you're going out you're getting showers or whatever really quick to put on so it's not just for outdoors in the field it's very much for urban use as well so the performance of the jacket really very very good don't know if I mentioned got clips around here as well so we can tie that in as well so the overall performance of the jacket I thought was exceptionally good the price point itself very very good as well um, it's one of those items that you're really going to be wanting to take with you it's not one that's a case of oh that's a bit expensive is it too much there's not enough it really is one that's going to be coming with you uh, a lot of the time so if we have a look at the performance against the criteria that plan watch walk always work to we can see there for what is essentially a relatively entry-level jacket uh, it's performing very very well at an exceptionally good price point I would have no harm in recommending this jacket it is it, it's one of which I carry now all the time it's become part of my pack that it goes with because if it's warm and it's just a shower you don't want to put a bigger heavier jacket on slip this on no problem so I hope that's been of use um, thank you very much for watching this if you enjoy what we're doing why not subscribe it'd be great to see you as part of the part of the subscribing team i will respond to any um, messages thumbs up are fantastic etc so until we meet again until the next review bye for now <laughs>